Okay, so the next question that we are going to solve is we are going to write additive inverses of all the elements in Z5 with respect to the operation addition modulo 5. Now we all know that the elements of the set Z5 are 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar, up to 4 bar. And we are going to write the elements and we are going to write the additive inverses of the elements in this set. So what is basically meant by additive inverse? I will say that if A bar plus B bar is equal to 0 bar, then I will say that B bar is additive inverse of A bar. Okay, and how do we denote it? We denote it by B bar is equal to inverse of A bar. Means A bar inverse is equal to how much? B bar. So this is just this is just a notation. This is not meant by reciprocal. Okay. So let us see what are the elements of Z5. 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, 3 bar, and 4 bar. Now here I will see, I clearly see that 0 bar plus 0 bar is equal to 0 bar. So the additive inverse of 0 bar is 0 bar itself. But 1 bar plus 4 bar is 0 bar. So this means additive inverse of 1 bar is 4 bar. 2 bar plus 3 bar is also 0 bar. So additive inverse of 2 bar is 3 bar. Additive inverse of 3 bar will be automatically equal to 2 bar. So here I will write 2 bar. And 4 bar plus 1 bar is how much? Again 0 bar. So 4 bar inverse is how much? 0 bar. In notations, I will write it as 0 bar inverse is equal to 0 bar. 1 bar inverse is equal to 4 bar. 2 bar inverse is equal to 3 bar and so on. But now you understand that uh, if I want to set with respect to multiplication, you cannot find the inverse of 0 bar with respect to multiplication, right? Because 0 bar multiplied by anything will, not, will never give you 1 bar. So we have to omit 0 bar from the set and that set we will call as what? Zn star. So I will take one example in Z8 star means I'm going to om omit 0 bar from the set. Find inverses of elements with respect to multiplication modulo 8. So what are the elements of Z8 star? The, multi the element of Z8 star are 1 bar up to 9 bar. I'm going to omit 0 bar because I cannot find the inverse of 0 bar. So up to 7 bar and I'm going to write here elements and I'm going to write here their multiplicative inverses and what is the meaning of multiplicative inverse a bar multiplied by b bar should be equal to how much should be equal to 1 bar then b bar is called multiplicative inverse of a bar and in notation it is written as b bar is a bar inverse this inverse is with respect to multiplication it is not reciprocal so let us write the elements of z8 so i will write 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar 4 bar 5 bar 6 bar and 7 bar okay so clearly 1 bar multiplied by 1 bar is equal to 1 bar so this means that 1 bar is inverse of itself 3 bar inverse is 3 bar into 3 bar is equal to 9 bar and 9 bar is again 1 bar. So inverse of 3 bar is 3 bar. Then I have 5 bar inverse, 5 bar into 5 bar if you do, you will get 25 bar and in Z8 25 bar is 1 bar. So 5 bar inverse is also 5 bar and 7 bar inverse is 7, 7 to 49 which becomes 48 and 48 is actually 48 plus 1 and that becomes how much? This also becomes to 1 bar. Now remaining elements are 2 bar, 4 bar and 6 bar. We know that 2 bar and uh, 2 bar and 8 have, have do not have GCD 1. Similarly GCD of 4 bar and 8 is also not 1. So GCD of 6 and 8 is also not equal to 1. So this means since their GCD is not equal to 1, therefore these elements 2 bar, 4 bar and 6 bar will not have inverses. If you multiply 2 bar with any number in Z8 star, 
you will never get it equal to 1 bar means inverse of 2 bar does not exist so multiplicative inverse does not exist of 2 bar similarly multiplicative inverse of 4 bar bar 6 bar does not exist so this is the calculation for multiplication inverse multiplicative inverses of elements in z8 star okay okay so now we will solve this linear equation in z8 so, so the solution is let me write 3 bar into x is equal to 5 bar so i will multiply both sides by 3 bar inverse now 3 bar inverse exists we all know that 3 bar inverse exists in z8 because 3 and 8 are relatively prime 3 and 8 have gcd1 so we can find the inverse of 3 bar in z8 so i will multiply 3 bar inverse to the left hand side so 3 bar inverse into 3 bar is into x bar is equal to 3 bar inverse into 5 bar and this 3 bar inverse into 3 bar multiplicative inverse will become 1 bar into x is equal to 3 bar inverse into 5 bar and therefore I will get x is equal to now we want to find the inverse of 3 bar in z8 we know that in z8 3 bar into 3 bar is 9 bar which is 1 bar so inverse of 3 bar is 3 bar itself so this 3 bar will be again replaced by 3 bar into 5 bar and therefore x will become equal to how much x will become 15 bar in z8 but in z8 we know that 15 bar is nothing but 7 bar 